Hello, Charles here again for MGN TV, and today I just wanted to give my initial impressions on Eastwood. It's effectively a homage to the old RPGs of the SNES era. Um, definitely inspired by Earthbound to some extent. There's even a little mini game that's um, definitely a nod to Earthbound within it. But anyway, this is a really cool, cool game. I've only really just got past the introduction but I'm already completely in love with it you've got two main characters and one of them's called John the other one's called Sam John works in in a dig site and Sam tags along with him initially and the story kind of goes from there I don't really want to say any more than that because I, I don't want to ruin it too much but effectively everyone's living underground and anyone who thinks his life above ground is considered a fantasist effectively a crazy person of the town and no one's allowed to go above ground either going above ground is effectively a crime and severe punishment will happen if you do so but what i really want to talk about is for starters the, the pixel art in this game is fantastic it really does pay homage to the olden days but while actually giving it a modern touch most indie games these days just go for a really old school pixel style touch without actually doing it properly and just saying it's an art style when really it's just because it's easier to do. But these devs have really put a lot of effort into the art. I mean there's a lot of detail there, it looks quite nice. The base resolution is 360p and it scales up which makes sense for what they're going for. But there's so many little details going on within the scene. It, it's it's truly awesome. It's like you're looking at an old school game, but with some really good modern touches to it. It just comes together absolutely perfectly. My only complaint with it would be that if you don't have Antigua scaling, then the game is actually quite blurry. It also only goes up to 1080p, so if you've got an NVIDIA GPU, I highly recommend that you enable Antigua scaling. Make sure it's enforced on the GPU. But visually, the game is stunning. Gameplay-wise, it is exactly like the traditional games in the SNES days. You go around, you explore the town, you do quests, you talk to people. There is a lot of dialogue in this game. And apparently there is a lot of padding, but that's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending what you're looking for. But the world feels very fleshed out. The characters feel alive. Everything just feels right. It's really giving me that good old vibe of the old games where there's actual art and love put into a game where every single inch of it feels like it has thought every character feels like they have a purpose to be there even some of the dialogue does drag on a little bit it, it's just fantastic control john and sam on the fly sam has these i guess electric but it is there's there's more to the story sam's basically sees another side of herself she's got some special layman powers effectively and john for the most part, at least at the start, will the frying pan. And the, the idea really is you stun with Sam and then go in and attack with John. As you can swap on the fly and it, it feels really good. It's it's very simplistic combat, but it does the job and it feels quite good. There's weight to John, the attacks feel pretty heavy, which is good. They don't feel just a like spammy attack and sam does have a bar so you do have to do some meter management even if there isn't really too much there at the moment but overall it, it comes together really well the the music is absolutely fantastic don't want to spoil too much but it really does this whole package just does feel like labor of love to the snes snes era jrpgs and it really is great it doesn't feel like it's taking too much of the problems with the old JRPGs with it. It feels like it is trying to modernise everything, get rid of the little things here and there that could do with sprucing up, but while still keeping that core. And it does an absolutely amazing job at that. Um, if anyone's looking for an old school JRPG, then I um, highly recommend the Eastwood. I heard it's around 15 to 20 hours or so in length with a bit of padding. Apparently there's not as much combat and puzzles as you'd like, but the puzzles that are here, as you'll see in some of the footage, are, they're basic, but they're fun. They're, they're good enough. They're the right level of simple, but not too simple. 
and the puzzles you actually solve feel like they're grounded in the environment which i love they don't feel like they're just puzzles there for the sake of solving a puzzle it actually all feels grounded within the environment so very impressed with the puzzle work very impressed with the music impressed with the art the animations are fantastic you'll see some animations in the footage i've captured so far and just the animations on sam alone are just so adorable it's it's absolutely perfect they've, they've done an amazing job here absolutely cannot recommend this game enough if you if you like the old school jrpgs or the snes era then this is absolutely up your street i can't see any reason not to buy this and i can't wait to play some more and complete it because i am definitely going to stay for the whole journey